Okay. So this is what we do have. So in so doing, you are going to do the subtraction and then you can be able to come up with your what? Your AB, okay? So this will be equal to, now when you write this, please, this one here, if you to write this in a column vector form, it will be OA will be three, four. And then OB will be nine, two. This is in a column vector form, okay? So I would, I want you to get to know this, that when I have this and I'm to write it in this, all means that it is coming, it is a point on a line, meaning we are starting from the original A O and moving on to what? On to A, that's what you have. So you'll get your OB, which is nine three, sorry, nine two. You shall get your nine two minus three what? Three four, okay? And this will give us nine minus three, that will be six. Two minus four will be negative what? Negative two. So this will be your AB, okay? This will produce for us the AB. Now remember you cannot get OT without getting this AB, okay? So from there, we now formulate our equation now for OT. So our OT will be equal to OA, which is this three, four, okay? Plus a half into AB. So the AB is now the six, what? Six negative two. Now, people, uh, some learners had challenges in the, uh, for sorting out this one here. Hmm? So this indicates that this a half here is going to multiply both the six and also the what? And also the negative two. Take note of that, okay? So this is the same as you saying three, four plus, this is a half times six, then this will also be a half times negative two. This is how it's going to be worked out, okay? So then from that point, when you reduce them down, this will be one, this will be three, this once, this will be negative one. So we so do, we shall be having three, four, plus this is three, negative, negative one, okay? So after this, when you now, we said when you're adding vectors, you total up the, ones at the top alone, and then the ones at the bottom alone, okay? So it will be three plus three, then here will be four plus minus one. So this will be six, three plus three will be six, four minus one will be what? Will be three, okay? Now, take note, some learners were stopping here. This is, the, you don't get a complete mark when you stop here. Because here what you're getting is OT, but the question is asking you to find, look at this, to find the coordinates of what? Of T. So meaning you're going to write OT in a coordinate form, okay? So in a coordinate form, this six, three, T will be, T will be six, what? Six, three. So that's how you're supposed to write it in a final, because this is the final thing that we need. If you stop here, you'll only get the mark for working out this. And you'll not get this final mark for uh, writing it in coordinate form. So try as much as you can to make sure this is your final thing. All that you do here is just one single mark, even this one here. This is just a single mark. And writing these ones here, uh, writing them in this form here, this is a mark trying to uh, carry on this. Then getting your vector AB and also doing the substitution will be marks for you, okay? So please don't leave out any step, okay? Don't leave out any step. Make sure every step has been incorporated in your calculation, okay? Okay, um, that's it. With the with the, that part one, uh, I hope uh, if there is any question on that, you could raise it up so that we can uh, try to 
sort of it together as far as that is concerned. Uh, any question? No. All right, let's move on to the second one. Let's move on to the second one. So the second one was saying, given that A is that, B is this, and M is equal to that, find the magnitude. We are finding the magnitude of the vector M, okay? We are finding the magnitude of the vector M. So we say the magnitude is basically the length, okay? It's like you're finding the length. So starting with, we first get our coordinates of, uh, of uh, what? We first get our coordinates. So uh, here we are. Uh, so we try to, we say that our A is equal to, let me write it here, negative two, negative nine, and B is equal to seven, two, and we are saying M is equal to A plus two B, okay? A plus two B. That's what we do have, okay? So what is your first task? Your first task is to find this M. That's the first task that you have, to find the M. Okay, and we've even been given a formula that our M is equal to A plus two B. So what are you doing? You're just going to do the substitution and you'll be done to get M. So our M, vector M will be equal to A, which is negative two, negative nine, okay? Plus two into B, which is seven what? Which is seven two, okay? B, which is? Seven two. Which is seven two, okay? So from there, from there, what, what shall we be doing? You open up these brackets here. So we shall be having negative two, negative nine, plus two times seven, which will be 14, and two times two, which will be uh, four. Then you add them up. So this is equivalent to negative two plus 14, and then negative nine plus four. Okay, negative nine plus four. So the rest of the thing is now uh, doing the addition now. So negative two, this will be uh, 12, okay? Then um, this minus that, I think it will be negative five, okay? This will be your vector what? Vector M. But remember they have told us to get the magnitude. So we said with the magnitude of M will be equal to the root of, we said X squared plus Y squared. And here, this is our X, this is our Y, okay? Our X, that is our Y. So this will be equal to, X squared will be 12 squared plus negative five squared, into that, to the root, okay? So um, what will this be? Um, so it should be magnitude of M will be equal to the root of 12 of squared is 144 plus 12 of squared plus uh, one, the, the, the 12 of squared is 144. Then uh, the negative, negative five squared. What is negative five squared? Uh-huh. What's negative five squared? Someone negative five. Negative? negative 25. Negative 25, okay. So when yes. you get, when you add them, what you get finally? One forty four. 
if you have uh -huh. a question. Yes? Online. Hey, where are you still with us? Yes, Liam, yeah, okay. Liam yeah, is there. Yes, Liam. Yeah. Isn't, isn't the negative support? A negative term is a negative, isn't it a positive? So it negative is positive. Term is negative term negative five. Okay, it is yes, positive. Positive 25. Positive 25. Okay. So when you add up the two, what do we get? Yeah, what do we get? 119. Sure? Yes. 119? Mm-hmm. We are saying 144 plus 25. 169. 169. Okay. So this will be the mark, this will be the root of 169. And the root of 169 is E13, I think, E13, okay? And we are saying B13 are units, okay? B13 are units. Please, when you're putting, when you're putting those, the, 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 the margin to the end of it all, you add units, okay? That's what you need to add at the end of it all. Don't just leave it, uh, blank like that. Okay, so I think that is it. And um, we can use the same thing here to get the, the vector. So given the vector A is this, B is that, C is that, find the length. We say the length is equal to the magnitude, okay? So don't be confused around. If they say, sometimes they can just say, find this. So meaning this is the magnitude of M. If they also say find the length, meaning we're also finding the what? The magnitude. Or if they will say find the magnitude directly. Okay? So these three things will mean the same thing. Okay? Okay, so we are saying our vector A is that, B is that, and then, so we follow the same procedure as well. Uh, let me rewrite it here. So our vector A, a is negative 2, 7, uh, B is 8, 11, and then C is 4, negative 5, and we are being told to get the length A plus 2B plus C. That's what we need to get, okay? By the way, you can also say, you can let, or if not, you can take it as a whole. So you first get A plus 2B plus C, which will be negative 2, 7 plus 2 into B, which is 8, 11, then plus C, which is 4 minus 5. Yeah? So from here, we'll be getting, uh, please ensure you first open up these brackets here before you do the general adding up, okay? So um, this will be equal to negative two, seven plus two times eight will be 16. And two, times, two times 11 will be 22. 22. Okay. So then from here, from here, we'll be getting a uh, plus four, negative five. Please, the trick of carrying on this addition is we say that you total up the X alone and also the Y and on. That's the whole thing. So what you do is you shall get negative two plus 16 plus four. Then here we'll get seven plus 22 plus negative five to get a single, uh, to get a single value, okay? To get a single value, okay? So from here, what shall we get? What will be your, your X and Y? 
Those of us called children together, what shall we get there? Huntington? Yes, Hillary? What shall we get 18, here? 18. 18. 18. 18. And? 24. 24. Okay. 18, and then we have the 24. So from here, we said this is not where we are ending. Some learners were stopping at that, at that point. The question is telling us to find the length. So meaning we are getting the length of A plus 2B plus C. This is now the less how you're writing. It will be equal to the root of X squared plus Y squared. Please write the formula so that you can do the easy substitutions. Eh? Sometimes when you don't write the formulas, you may end up substituting them wrongly. So then you write the root of 18 squared plus the 24 squared. Uh -huh. What shall we get there? 18 squared plus 24 squared. 324 plus. Three? 324. 24. Plus, yeah. Plus? plus five, 576. 576. Okay, that's still the root. Uh huh. Then when you add up the two, what shall we get? Nine hundred. So we shall get the root of nine hundred, and the root of nine hundred will be thirty. The root of nine hundred will be thirty units. So this will give us the magnitude of a plus two b plus c. Okay, 30 units. Please put the units, eh? put the part of units. Uh, so getting this and then getting this one here, then doing the right substitution. Okay, please, the right substitution is key. And also you finding this the, the vector A plus 2B plus C. That is what will be able to earn you the max. Okay, doing the right substitution is key. All right, so uh, this was really testing about the skills of uh, adding, multiplying, subtracting the vectors. Those are, and then getting the magnitude of those vectors. Okay. That's how you're going, that's how you're, you're, you're trying to work out that. Okay. Unless there's a question, unless there's a question somewhere before we proceed to the last one. Okay. So we move on to the other one. Now, the other one was in vector geometry. The other one was in vector geometry. And um, most people were finding difficulties as far as this is concerned, I really don't know why. I want to put more emphasis again. Now, when you're working out this, please take note of the information that you are given, or else. This information is key. Huh? And be sure that you're going to use the whole of that information in whatever calculation you're going to do for, that vector, for the vector geometries. So we are saying in the figure below P, is a point on AD, okay? P is a point on AD. We are not saying it's a midpoint, it's just a point on AD, such that the ratio of PD, okay? PD to AD to AP is it? one to what? One to two, so this is one and this is two. Remember, we say now, if you get the total ratios here, total ratio, the total ratio AD, so meaning AD is what? Is three. That's the total ratio. That counts up as the total ratio. Okay? Then we said OA is 
vector A, then the OB is vector OB. This one here from this to this is what? Is B. And then three OB, three times this OB gives us BD. So that means this one, the ratio is three, and then the other one is what? The other one is two. That is how it is. Those are the ratios. And finally, OC, this OC is equal to 3CE, okay? Meaning this is one and this is it, three times. And it is also equal to 3AP, okay? It's also equal to three times of what? Three times this, this AP. Now, th th those are some of the things that we are trying to analyze through so that we come up with the, with, with the, with, with the, with our final way of working out. Okay, the final way of how we can work out that. Now, let's now get to more question. Express the vectors in terms of A and B. Okay, in terms of A and what? A and B1, we have AB. So we are told to find what? AB. Uh -huh. Now, for us to move from A, okay? Okay, for, more, for us to move from A, let me make it quite larger. Okay, this is where we are. So we are supposed to find AD, okay? So remember whatever we are doing, we are expressing our work in terms of A, B. So this will be the first priority that you need to put in mind, okay? So if you are to move from A to D, what would you, what would this be equal to in terms of these vectors here? How would you write, how do you get point AD? Uh -huh. Someone tell us, AD, how would you get that point AD? Um, yes, Leon. Yes, teacher, I would, AD is equal to AO plus OB, Plus A BD. Plus OB. Plus, plus BD. Plus BD. Mm -hmm. That's one way. Yes. That's, how, that's how he would move. Any other person? Any other person? How would you get to AD? Mm -hmm. Look at, just look at your sketch. Look at your sketch. As you're having it there. So this is one way that you do that. So meaning, if you have that, you know your OA, you know your OB, but you don't know your BD, okay? We don't know what? We don't know the BD. So meaning we have a task of finding what? Of finding BD. So, I am saying AD will be equal to uh, AO plus OB plus BD, okay? But we know our AO, AO will be negative what? Negative A. Why are we saying it's negative? Because we are moving in the reverse direction and the normal direction is OA. So that's why it turns to negative. Plus OB, OB is what? is vector B, which you already have, plus BD, which we are supposed to be having, we are, which we are supposed to find. But remember we've been told that your BD, look at the, you look at now the, take a look at the, 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 the other options you've been given. We say that three OB, here of this, we've been told that three OB, Three OB is equal to two BD. Okay. Now, when you have these ratios here, what are you supposed to be? How how do you sort them out? You just find you just say make BD the subject of the formula now. So meaning you're going to divide this by two, divide by two, cross out the two. So meaning you're going to have your BD being equal to three out of two OB. 
Okay. Three out of two of B. By making B the subject of that ratio that we've been given. But we already know that our OB, our vector OB is equal to what? To B. We already know that. So therefore, meaning we are going to have our B three out of two B. Okay? Three out of two B. We already know that. So you now do the final substitution up there. So in our substitution for AD, we say our AD, vector AD will be equal to negative A plus our B, okay, plus three out of two B. Okay, this is what we have. Okay, so from here you collect the like terms. So, uh, so we solve this one for B. You bring the Bs together. Now here, what you do, put this other B out of one, okay? Then you get the LCM, which is two. Two, E21 will be two times Z, B, which will be two B, okay? Plus two into this will be one times three, which will be three what? Three B, okay? Plus negative that. Please make sure you simplify your work as simple as possible. Don't leave it hanging, yeah? Don't leave it hanging. Make sure you simplify it. So this will be equal to 2B plus 3B will be 5B. So which will be negative A plus 5 out of 2B. But you can also write it beginning with a positive, which is B5 out of 2B minus, minus A. This will be, this will give us your a D. Okay. Members, whatever route that you will be taking, make sure you come up with the same, same thing. Okay. Take an example. Another person will say, let's, let's use another route. Eh? Another person will say, for me to get to a B, let's write like this. For me to get to a D, I'll say it is equal to AO plus OD. Okay. This is one way, another way that we are using. AO plus what? Plus OD. But we don't know our OD. So, but we can also get our OD. What is OD? We say OD will be equal to OB, okay, plus BD. To get to this OD, it is this OB plus this BD to come up with this, okay? OB plus BD gives us what? OD. The addition of these two gives us this, okay? But still, we, we need to find BD. So the BD will still come to the other, the other ratio we've been given. We said three of B, three of B is equal to two BD. We already know that. So divide this through by two, divide by two. So your BD, your BD will be equal to three out of two of B. That's what you'll be having. But we know our OB is, is B. So this will be three out of two B. So we do the back substitution here again. So this will be your BD. So you substitute it here again in OD. So again, your OD, vector OD will be equal to OB, which is B, okay? Plus BD, which is what? Three out of two B. See that we are running the same thing. Then from here, we continue and do this other sub, this one. We remember when we, we sorted this, this was it, five out of two B. Then you come to your AD now. So your AD now will be equal to o, a, o, which is negative what? Negative A plus OD, which OD is now what? Which OD is five out of two B. Okay. So when you rewrite it, we shall be able to get five out of two B minus 
A. So of which you see that we will have gotten, we should, we should we will have come to the same thing. Okay, this and that. But you will use the different road. So whatever route that you use, at the end of it all, you must come up with the same thing, same result. Whatever route that you use, you should be able to come up with the same, same result. This is supposed to be what I wanted to, to, to put across as well. But uh, the better you use the shortest route, okay, rather than using the other one, which will disturb you when you're carrying on the, the substitutions, eh? make sure you use the shortest route possible. It will be better for you. Any question on that? Any query, any query, any query? Okay. So uh, in all that we are doing, please ensure with the vectors, we are looking out for the shortest route possible when we are working through, okay? Look out for the shortest route, okay? But at the end of it all, you all get the, the, the same marks. Okay, we move on. On to the second last, I think. Now, remember, when you're also working out these vectors, what you get in your part A, at some point, it's going to help you to get part B as well. Meaning, if you fail to get A, D, there are higher chances that your next one is not going to work out because there is that connection that is there. So we are on to the next one. We have been told to find B, BP, vector BP, right here. So how would you get vector BP? How should we get B from B to P? So meaning we draw here a small, a, an imaginary line, okay? An imaginary line from that. So how would you get your BP? And I want to, Tell us here. Uh -huh. How would you get your BP? Mm -hmm. Hillary Huntington, Shama, Shivan. Pop, how would you get your BP? Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me on. Yeah, me on. Yeah, we can't get you. Okay, yes. Uh, where are hope? Hope. Yes, hope. Okay, you're there now. Yes, yeah. Network could be bad. Eh? Yeah. yeah, we can get you. Now. Yeah, yeah, we can get you now. BP is equal to BD plus DP. Pardon? BP is equal to BD plus DP. BD plus? Plus DP. DP. Yes, or it could be BC plus CA plus AP. Plus AP. Okay, we have that. So let's use the first one. 
uh, let's just use the first one. So we have these two. Do you realize that when you are counting out, when you're moving these vectors here, this B and P are outside and they are equal to this. So for me to move from B to P, we are saying we first go to BD plus DP, okay? Let's just use that. So we have BD plus what? Plus DP. That's what we do have. I think we already have BD, right? We already have our BD from up here. We calculated our BD somewhere, which is three out of four B. This one here is three out of four, sorry, three out of two what? B. So plus DP. Now our task is to find DP, okay? Our task is to find DP. But remember, in your question somewhere, they have given you some idea about DP. Somewhere they have told us something about DP. And they have said that, I think it's somewhere here. I uh had -huh, the ratio, there's some ratio here. They have said that, meaning this is negative DP, okay? So they have said that we have the ratio of AD, sorry, PD to AP is one to what? One to two. That's the ratio that we do have. These are the ratios that we have, meaning they divide up, they divide up AD in that given ratio. Now, what does this indicate? That PD is one and then AP is what? Is two, okay? But remember we say that these ones here, the total ratio here is three and this three represents what? Represents AD. That's something we need to have in mind. So what does this mean? It, mean? it means that if you're to get your PD here, your PD is one out of three of what? Of AD. I don't know if we get that. Then your AP will be, uh, your AP will be two out of three AD. That's what you'll be having, okay? So, Having known that, that your PD is equal to one out of three of AD, that's something we have, of AD. How are we getting this? We are getting this from the ratios that we've been given, these ratios that we have. And if you're to get your AP, your AP will be two out of three of what? Of AD. That's what you'll be having. Okay. Now, having already having, we already have our AD, okay? We already have our AD, which we calculated here in the beginning. So your PD, what will your PD be? So PD, PD will be one out of three into five out of two uh, B, I think minus A, is it like this? Yes. Um, let me remove one more bracket. I think it's the, I can remove one more bracket. Uh, this is five AB, I think it's five. So we could, uh, let me remove this one more bracket here. So it's supposed to be there. So it will be five out of two into five out of two B minus what? Minus A, right? So when you open up these brackets here, when we open up our brackets here, we shall be having uh, one out of three times five out of two B minus one out of three A, okay? So when you multiply this, we should get five out of six B minus one out of three A. So this will be your PD. But you remember in our question, we have what? We have DP. In our, in our equation that we wrote, we have DP, meaning it is, this one becomes a negative, okay? 
So if it is now dp, if it becomes dp, so dp will be equal to negative. So we multiply the negative throughout. So it will be negative five out of six b. The negative multiplying with this negative will be a positive one out of three a. So you can rewrite it and say, this will be equal to one out of three a minus five out of six what? Six b. This will be your dp. Okay, because that is what we do have. So meaning when you reverse through, and please take note of that negative, it affects so much your results, okay? If you don't take note of it, it will mess up your entire results. So try as much as you can to take note. If they talk about dp, meaning it is the negative of what? Of pd, okay? Depending on what our question has provided for. So we now do the substitution here. We go back and do the substitution back here. Uh -huh. So it is three out of two B plus the other DP. So it will be three out of two, three out of two B, okay? Plus these ones here, but plus all this. So plus uh, this will be uh, one out of three A, Minus five out of six, what? Six B, okay? So now you collect like terms. You now collect our like terms. So in collecting like terms, we'll be able to have three out of two B minus five out of six B plus one out of three A. One out of three A. Please don't leave your result just hanging. Bs alone, then make sure you have just one B and also one what? Uh, one, uh, one A. So meaning from here, we'll be having, uh, when we get our LCM here of two and six, what will the LCM be? LCM of two and six. Uh, LCM of two and six. Six. Six, huh? Okay. So it will go into the three times that will be nine plus, sorry, minus five. Eh? Nine uh, minus, minus five. Okay. Uh, this will be B. Then plus one out of three. Eh? So at uh, the end of it all, we'll be having, uh, this will be nine minus five. This will be four out of six B plus one out of three A. Okay. Someone might decide to pull out this one out of three. And you said this will be equal to one out of three into, is it four? I think four out of two, four out of two B plus A. Okay, you can also write it like that to come up with your B, B. So whatsoever route that you end up using, uh, we shall be able to run to the same thing here. But bottom line, if you do not utilize the information that you have here, it's going to be quite difficult for you. Yeah? So first thing, make sure you make use of this information that you have. Then finally, DC. Finally, we have DC as we come to a close. So this DC from D to C, this is what you have. So meaning we are going to draw a line here, uh -huh. that's what we have. So if you have your DC, okay, this will be DO plus OC. I think this is straightforward. DO plus what? Plus OC. It will give you what? Your DC. Another person can decide to use this other route. 
DE plus EC is also fine. Another person might decide to use some other route altogether, but at the end of it all, we should be running the same thing. We have got our DO. We already have our DO, or rather OD that we got at the top there. Now the challenge is with our OC. What do we know about OC? Look at our equation here. Look at the, the, the subject that we have here about OC. We are saying OC is equal to 3CE, which is equal to 3 what? 3AP, okay? But we know our AP formula somewhere up there. We said our AP, remember what I gave you up uh, somewhere there. I said AP, I think it's somewhere here where I told you here, where I said that your AP is equal to two out of three AD, okay? Two out of three AD, of which you already know your AD, okay? You already know your AD. So knowing your AD already, it means you're just going to do a substitution, okay? So, um, so we move here, we say our OC, our DC will be equal to uh, DO plus OC. We already know our DO. We shall just do the substitution. But we know our OC is equal to 3CE, which is equal to 3AP, okay? What does this indicate? It means that OC, can be equal to three AP. That's what it means. Okay, can be equal to three AP. So, meaning we know that our AP is equal to uh, two out of three AD. Two out of three AD. So, meaning you are going to multiply by D three here as well. So this will be two out of three AD. We got our AD up here. So I told you what you're going, you see that if you fail to get your AD, it means you're going to fail to get the others also. So your AD, you got it as five over two, B minus A. Five over two, B minus A. Okay, but remember we are finding OC. So meaning you're multiplying this by what? By three. Okay, you're multiplying it by three because you have your AP. So when you cross out that three, so you shall have two, okay? Then we remain with two times this, eh? two times five out of two, we shall remain with five, okay? Five B minus two times A to A, which will be our OC, okay? That will be our OC that we got. So we now do the substitution for DC. So our DC will be, what was OD? We got the OD somewhere here. Our OD was here. So please, I emphasize, utilize the information that you've used in, you've calculated in your part A and part B. It's very vital. So your OD will be five over two B. So we come and do the substitution here. Five over two B. But remember it is a negative because we, it is DO that we have. So this will be a negative, okay? Because we are, it is DO that we are having and yet the other one is OD. Then um, it will be now plus OC, which will be five B minus, to A. So from here, you collect like terms. You collect your like terms. So this is out of one. Get the LCM, which is two. This will be negative. Please take note of the negative, negative 5B, okay? Plus two times that, which is 10B, okay? Minus two A. So finally, we shall be having a negative 5B plus 10B will be 5B, okay? Out of two minus what? Minus two A, minus two A. Of which you can put the two outside, okay? You can put the two outside, which will be one out of two 
into 5b minus what? Minus a. This will be giving us our what? Our dc. Right? This will be giving us our dc. Now, this number was a bit uh, lengthy because it gives you the skills of trying to identify different parts of how you can be able to handle that. But you realize that when you're working out, please don't ignore your beginning part. Okay? Don't ignore your beginning part. These numbers here, as you see them, they are connected. This A, D is connected to B, D, B, P and connected to D, C. Okay? They are connected up together. So you cannot work in isolation. Okay, You can't work in isolation. So that's what uh, you need to have in mind as you are working out. All right, I think that is the, what we had for today and uh, for the exam. But please practice, 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 practice more. Okay, the more you practice, the better you understand the concept. If you don't practice, you may not easily understand the concept. So I still emphasize practice, practice, practice. Okay. If you get a challenge, please ask your friend. You can still contact the teachers and then you can be helped as well. Okay, I think that's it for today, unless someone has a question or so. Unless there is a question or two, we could work, answer them and then we close for today. All right, um, if there is no question, we could end here, unless Mr. Mr. Dumba has something for us before we close. Yes, good morning, Mr. Moses. Good morning to you. Again, it's not Mr. Dumba, it is Mr. Drusilla. Yes, it's Mr. Drusilla. Thank you so much for the lesson. I was, I was trying to get the concept. I think I just have to practice. Uh, practice, practice. <laughs> We will make, make it perfect. Okay, thank you so much for the lesson. Yeah. That is all I can say. All right, thank you too. And I think we could close it here. And members, I think there is a, there is a meeting. And don't forget, you can inform your parents to be part of it. Eh? At 3.30? Okay. At 3.30. Yes. All right, thank you so much. And wish you well. Teacher, thanks for the lesson. You're welcome, Tony.